everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Christy. In today's video, we are getting some things done. I need to declutter my entire life. <laughs> that sounds like an extreme statement, but I mean it from the depths of my soul that I just wanna get rid of everything I own. I feel like this always happens to me like once a year. I am just ready for everything to be gone. Like I want minimal things. I wanna live a life of minimalism and I'm just sick of the clutter. We don't really have a lot of clutter, but to me it's clutter and I do not like it. So I've decided that I'm going to start with my vanity and my makeup. So that is what we're gonna conquer today. I'm going to declutter my makeup. I'm going to get rid of a ton of stuff. I'm gonna be cutthroat about it. I'm not keeping lipsticks that I've had for like two years just because I like them and I spent the money on them. We're not doing it, we're not doing it. So we're gonna do that. Hopefully I will also have the courage to go through my vanity drawers. I need to do that today too, hold me to it because I just shove things in those vanity drawers. Like I don't even know what's in there. I just like put it all, I'm just like shoving stuff in and then just like never opening them again. So we are gonna conquer that today. We're gonna get that done. My allergies are horrific today. Today is a Monday. I usually go into the office on Mondays, but I'm actually working from home today because my allergies were so bad. When I woke up, I was like dead inside. So. That is why we're doing a no makeup day. That's why I might sound a little congested. It's because my allergies are horrific. It is almost four o'clock. So I wanna use this last little bit of daylight to get this decluttering done. So let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Okay, we're not gonna sugarcoat it. This is my full vanity situation. So I had this pile of products here and recently moved it. Sorry, it's not focusing. I had it here and then moved it to put these perfumes, but I have to figure out if I'm keeping these or getting rid of them. This is like a pile of returns. So like disregard all of that. But obviously the top of my vanity is a complete disaster. Um, so many things here just need to be organized. I have a lipstick organizer back here that I just need to go through and really just get rid of a ton of stuff. I really want to declutter my makeup because I don't use a lot of this stuff. And yeah, it's just time. It's time to get rid of things. It's time to organize. I also hate having this much stuff just because I feel like things get so dusty so easily, which I hate. So we are gonna go through and start decluttering all of this. I think my first step here is going to be to remove anything that isn't makeup because I feel like it's gonna be easier to declutter my makeup with all of this stuff out of the way. Ew, look at the dust. <laughs> Plus with all this out of the way, I'll actually be able to clean everything really well. Ew, that's so gross. That's so gross. Okay, ew, like look how dusty my necklace holder is. Can you see the dust on there? That is despicable. Okay, honestly, I have to wipe this down. This dust is grossing me out. Hold on. I know this could be so much worse, but this actually disgusts me. So I feel like we should just rip the bandaid off and go right into my lip products. So I have this cute little organizer. It has uh, one, two, three, four drawers. And I think it is time to be pretty brutal about this. I might try some on, but I have a feeling I know what will need to go, but I'm already sad looking at it. Oh, sorry, that noise. Top shelf. We have two NARS velvet lip glides, which I think are like little lip glosses. This is the color Roseland. And then we have the color Unspeakable. These are really pretty. I like have barely worn these. <laughs> Should I try them on? This is gonna turn into a whole process if I have to try everything on, but. It's pretty. I have to get a tissue. Hold on. Let's try on this darker color. I always want to wear darker colors like this, but then I'm always intimidated to do so. Rough application, but I think these might be a matte finish, which we're just not, we're not doing it anymore. We're not doing it anymore. Lip Glide makes me think it's a lip gloss, but I think it has that velvet matte texture. I've like barely worn these. We're just going to kick them to the curb. I feel like this color is just not me anymore. <laughs> I feel like I've had this for such a long time. I think I've had this for an obscene amount of time. This is Milani Amour Matte Lip Cream in the color Sweetheart. It's so pretty, but honestly, I just, I think I've had this for literally years. So we're just gonna, we're gonna move on. Oh my God, a classic. 
a Kylie, Kylie Lip Kit. Except I didn't get the kit, I just have the color because I just could not be bothered. This is her matte liquid lipstick in Mary Jo K. I think that this color is so pretty. I really love this red, but you guys, the matte liquid lipsticks, I can't do it. We're being cutthroat. We're getting rid of this. A lip balm. This looks a little crusty. I was gonna put it on my lips, but I think we need to throw this away too. I'll just get a new one. This is the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Stick, and my sister actually put me onto these. It feels really nice on your lips, but again, I think I've had this one for a long time. I think what my problem is with my lip products is that I like to keep them all with me. If you watched my recent vlog, I kind of decluttered and did a little what's in my bag currently. And I have a little pouch that is jam packed with lip products. And I think that's part of the problem is I like to keep them all with me. So when they sit in this little guy, I end up not choosing one every day. I like to have them with me. So they just sit in here once I put them in here. And I think that's part of the problem. This Dr. Papa, I don't even know where I got this. So we're throwing this away. Um, this is a Korean brand lip balm. When did I get this? I do know that I like this. But again, I say, I probably shouldn't put this on my lips. I've had this for a really long time. We're also going to get rid of that. Ooh, these are newer. Okay, these are newer. I love these. These are the Revlon Kiss lip balms and they have SPF 20 in them. So I will be keeping these because I actually really, really like these in the summer. I burn super easily, literally white as a ghost. So I burn super easily and I love to have a cute SPF lip product. So I actually have three of these Revlon ones. I have this one in tropical coconut, which is colorless. It's just like a clear lip balm. I have it in juicy peach, which is more of like a corally orange. The thing about this is that the color is very subtle. Actually, I'll just put it on for you right now. Well, you're not gonna be able to see because that NARS already tinted my lips, but oh my God, they smell so good. They feel nice, give a very slight sheen of color, nothing too crazy. And then I have another one, I think in my one of my bags somewhere. I need to find it because I actually really like that one. It's my favorite one. It has a slight berry tint. And again, all SPF 20, so I love that. This is a lip tint that quite literally looks like it's solidified. <laughs> this is a humbling experience. It's a Dear Darling tint by Etude House. I never know how to say that. I think they're a Korean brand, yeah. Is it Etude House, Etude House? I don't know, let me know how to say it. Oh, it says it expires 0106, 2023. So it is expired. And as you can see, it's basically like solidified in there. So that is also going. Okay, the last thing I have here is the Glossier Generation G lipstick in the color Like. I love their packaging, it's so cute. I know some people think it's juvenile, but I am juvenile, so I like it. This is newer, but it's been a while since I wore this. I should put this in my purse. I honestly, I'm gonna put all these in my purse. Anything I keep is going in my purse. See, it's pretty, it's very natural. Like even as you build up the color, it's super natural. So again, the Glossier Generation G lipstick in the color Like, it's a very subtle berry color, really nice. I actually really like colors like this for work. Just a little hint of color, but nothing too intense. Wow, I'm really proud of myself for how savage I am being in this process. Next tray, okay. Okay, I am already torn. I know these are at least two years old. I got these in 2020, so I feel like I need to get rid of them. But they're so pretty, and I don't know if I can still get them anywhere. So this is from a local Chicago business, and it's called Glossy Pout. And these lip glosses are so hydrating and so moisturizing. They make your lips feel so good. But the colors are so pretty. I loved every single one of these and I'm kind of sad at the thought of throwing them out, but do you agree that two, two plus years is probably enough time? Oh, but I like these. Okay, I'm gonna try to look them up online. I don't need more stuff, but I need to look it up online. <laughs> okay, I already know I'm gonna keep this because this is newer. This is actually one of my sleeper hits in my life. I love this lipstick and I've loved this lipstick for literally years, potentially 10 years. <laughs> I have loved this lipstick and it's a drugstore find. So this is a Maybelline cream lipstick. The color is number 410 Blissful Berry. The tube is so nostalgic. I just love a drugstore lipstick, but this color is so stunning. It looks very deep in stick form, but when you put it on, especially if you just put a tiny bit, 
this is literally the perfect bright berry toned lipstick. Like just a hint of it is so pretty. I absolutely love it. And then if you want to go harder in the paint, you can like really layer it on to build up the color. But I love this. This is continually one of my favorite lipsticks. So we're definitely keeping that. Okay, this is a little gift with purchase my mom gave me. I think it's from Estee Lauder, the color Envy. See, this is really pretty. Also, the packaging is cute. It's pink with these red lips. Let's try it on. That's pretty. That's a lot more pink than I feel like it looks in here. I feel like the tube actually looks like it's more of a rose neutral. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if I like this on me. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I don't know if I like this color on me now that I have it on. <laughs> Up next, we have another classic that everyone talks about, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. I feel like I bought this just because of the hype. Obviously we know there's a ton of hype around the Pillow Talk lip. I bought this, I think, because of the hype. Let's try it on. Well, this is basically layered on top of all these other things. It's a nice neutral. I think with a lip liner, it's nice. I'm gonna keep that. The next thing that I have is something that I think I got at the beauty section in H Mart, I wanna say, because I get sucked in so easily, but it is the Espoir Couture Lip Fluid Velvet Liquid Lipstick. This is what the packaging looks like. Super cute, love the all pink moment. I love Korean beauty products. I love that so many of them give an exact expiration date. Like that's what I need. Because if it just says like the 12 months, I'm like, when did I buy this? I have no idea. This expires 2023 December. Okay, end of the year. Beautiful. Uh, it's really hard for me to see what the color is. Let's try it on. I really like these kind of velvet blur products that a lot of Korean lip products are. I really like that. That's pretty. See, I feel like this is a slightly pinkier version of this color wise, and I like this better. So we're going to keep this. I feel like that looks pretty. Am I right? Am I wrong? Give me your thoughts. I can tell I need to get rid of these just by looking at them, but it makes me sad because they're so pretty. But I know that I have had these for an obscene amount of time and they are the Milani. What are they? The Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumpers. These colors, you guys, honestly, I think these are great drugstore dupes for a lot of the Fenty glosses. They're just so pretty. Like the colors are so nice and they're a nice little sparkle. Um, the plumping aspect of them isn't painful or too tingly and I just really like them, but I can literally tell by how this is separating that it is time to go. So we're gonna kick these to the curb. Wow, I'm getting rid of so many things. <laughs> This is needed though. In my ideal world, I would cut my lip products down to things that I can just carry with me so that I can use this organizer for makeup and hopefully streamline some of that stuff as well. So the last little panel we have here, this is gonna be interesting. We're gonna start with one that I know that I like, but the packaging frustrates me so much that I don't use it. And that is this Wet n Wild lipstick. The color is Mad for Mauve and it is a cream lipstick, but this formula is almost so creamy that it makes a huge mess in the tube. Do you see that? I'm sure you do. So it just gets everywhere. Like, I don't know what it is. It gets everywhere and it's super frustrating when you want to put it on. Can you see that? Can you see how it's like indented from the side of the tube. I think because it's so creamy, I think that if it gets warm in your purse, I think that it starts to melt. So the lipstick in the tube is literally going like this. And so it has a little indent from where it hits the actual packaging. But with that in mind, I actually love this color. <laughs> it's so pretty. It's just like a really natural mauve nude color and I really like it. But look at it, I just put it on. It's even more messed up. Okay. That just annoys me. Oh my God, look what I just did. I just put it down and it made a huge mess. This is done, no, we're throwing this away. That really annoys me, absolutely not. What do we have next? This is a NARS, oh wait, this is new, wait. This is like a newer product. This is like something that I bought recently and I've never used, I don't think. That's really embarrassing. This is the NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencil in the color Cruella. 
Oh my God, I hate myself. I cannot believe I've never used this. Oh, and it's so pretty. Oh my, am I okay? Like, honestly, am I okay? I love it. I'm disgusted with myself. I've never used this and I was on the search for like the perfect red. And look at me. I didn't like, I haven't even used it. I haven't gone out and about in it. Is this something that you can sharpen? It's not twisting. So can you sharpen this? God, I hope so. I need to Google that. Well, we're keeping that. Okay, I'm excited for the lip portion to be over because ouch. One that I know out the gate that I'm definitely gonna keep is this Chanel dual ended lip product. So these are really cool. I have the color light mauve. It is super pretty. I will say when I put this on, I feel like this is a way pinkier color than you would anticipate from this. Um, I'll go ahead and try it on for you guys because we're here and I feel like that would be mean to not try on like the Chanel product, which is an exciting one. Basically what this is, is one side is kind of like a velvet matte liquid lipstick. The other side is a clear lip gloss. So usually what I do is I let this dry down and then I'll add on the lip gloss. And I think it's when I add on the lip gloss, it just makes this look a lot pinker than I was anticipating, but I don't hate it. Obviously don't put it on over Vaseline cause it's not gonna do anything, but I really like this. I think that especially if you find a shade you love, it's just a cool product. And once you put that lip gloss on, this color stays for hours. You just have to keep reapplying the lip gloss throughout the day. It's really nice. I'm actually gonna try again now that I took off the Vaseline. So pretty. See, pretty pink. And then you use the lip gloss and it's really cute. I like it a lot. So we're gonna keep that. A couple other products we have here. So these Bare Minerals lipsticks, they are the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. I have one in cinnamon and one in spice. Again, because these weren't in my purse, I feel like I've barely used these since I bought them. This is the color cinnamon. Now I'm kind of kicking myself though because these are very fall colors and now we're coming into spring and I should have worn these throughout the fall and winter. <laughs> this was like a brownish tone, really pretty. Actually, I could get away with maybe wearing this still. Let's keep that one, especially because these are both new, like new, new. <laughs> Look, I think I bought them at the beginning of fall with the intention of wearing them in the fall and then I just didn't. This is why I need to be stopped. No more lip products for Christy. I don't know if this color looks good on me. I think this was a buy one, get one free situation. This looks too warm for me. So we're gonna get rid of this one. Whew. She's being cutthroat. I'm getting rid of a brand new product. I've only had that for a couple months. What is this? Uh, Smashbox color and the color promoted. It's pretty. Do I love it? I feel like I've had this for a while, potentially. I think we're gonna kick this one to the curb. Okay, we have two more lipsticks left, and then I'm gonna try on the new lip gloss I just got. I just got one this weekend. <laughs> ah! Screaming internally. I have these two NARS lip colors. This is a lipstick, matte lipstick in Jolie Mome. This looks untouched. <laughs> I feel like I haven't used this. Oh God, I have stuff all over my face. Oh, this is matte. This borderline hurts. The color's really pretty. Ooh, the color's really pretty. I feel like this is like the more grown up, sophisticated version of this Milani color that I loved in like 2013. I feel like this is like the grown up pink version of that. And because of that, I wanna keep it. It looks okay, so we're gonna keep it. It is very matte though. But it's pretty, a pretty pink. We're gonna keep it. <laughs> okay, I'm doing so well. I'm getting rid of like quadruple what I'm keeping. So that's a great sign. The last one is another matte NARS, God, Christy, in the color for Special. Oh, wow, this looks stunning. What the heck, okay. Oh. Ah, I recall, I remember now. Wouldn't you assume this is like a reddish tone, not too bright? It's a very bright pink. We're gonna get rid of this one. I like the other one better for like a pink toned lipstick. That's a little pop of color. Oh my God. I feel like the Joker. I'm like one step away from being the Joker. Not like 
in behavior, just in appearance, obviously. The other two things I have here are lip liners and I'm gonna get rid of both of them because I just got a lip liner recently that I feel like is the perfect color for me. So this is an old NYX lip liner and an Ofra one. And these colors were just fine. I think one of them matched my lips too well and the other one was too dark for me. So we're gonna get rid of both of these because I literally never use them and I think they're a hundred years old. I am getting rid of, <laughs> get a load of this. Okay, sorry, everything is chaos because of how I'm trying to organize, but we are getting rid of all of these lip products and I am only keeping these four, those three and these three of everything in here. That's kind of wild. The other two products I have here, I recently got this Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum in Pink Glow. This I do like, I really like the formula. It goes on very glossy on the lips. So with this pink glow color, you get a really pretty pink glossy look. It is a plumper, so you do have the tingling feeling. The only thing I don't like is that this is such a wet formula that as soon as you push a little bit up in the tube to put on your lips, like you're basically committing to putting that all on because it gets super melted, like it gets very melty. Like to the point where I barely click this up and just use like a tiny bit at a time because I don't want to waste the product. So I do like it, but that is like a pretty big critique I have of it. That is not my favorite thing. And then the thing that I just bought yesterday, which like feels bold given how much I just got rid of and how much I probably don't need this, but I was influenced. And as a side note, this is why I am not allowed to watch beauty videos. <laughs> I really limit how many beauty influencers I watch on YouTube because I am so easily swayed. I love makeup. I love trying new makeup. I love trying new things with makeup. And I'm always just like wanting to check out the scene. So beauty YouTube is very dangerous for me in that way because then I'm like, oh, look at that. That's nice. Oh, that's really cute. Oh, look at that lip color. Oh, look at that makeup by Mario bronzing cream that I just bought yesterday. You know what I mean? It becomes a whole thing. So I really try to limit that, um, but I was influenced. And I decided to try the Tower 28 Lip Jellies. This is the packaging, adorable, so cute. I got the color XOXO, Gossip Girl. It's just called XOXO, it's not called XOXO Gossip Girl. But how cute is the packaging? I literally cannot. The little lid is so stinking cute. This is showing up very red on camera, but it is not red, I promise you. It is a pinkish color. And I was not anticipating when I tried this on when I got home, I was like, oh wow, like it's pink. Like sh it, it's pink. This is what it looks like on. It smells like coconuts and feels like heaven, truly, on your lips. Feels incredible. And it gives it the prettiest tint. Look at that. Oh my God, I love it. They're so pretty. I was not expecting it to have that much color payoff, but it's beautiful. Look at that pink. I'm obsessed, like literally obsessed with this. So add it to the list. So I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to grab my little lipstick holder that I keep in my purse and see if I can declutter any of those and then see if we can fit everything in one before moving on to the makeup organization, BRB. Okay, we've made some progress. I decluttered some more things. Let me show you. Okay, so I decluttered another lip liner. This is MAC Strip Down. I was very influenced by Miss Gina here on YouTube to buy this. I've had it for a long time. I honestly don't think it's my color. I am too light for this. So, kick it to the curb. I also am getting rid of an assortment of eyeliners, liquid eyeliners, little pencil eyeliners. I don't love this liquid liner. It's the NYX Epic Ink Liner, just not my favorite. I'm getting rid of these little black eye pencils. I just feel like black eyeliner is a little harsh on me, so I like to use gray or brown instead, so I'm gonna get rid of those. I'm gonna get rid of this Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel Liner. Gel liner, honestly, I'm just like not advanced enough for it. I know it's pretty easy, but I just could never get it right. I need a little like easy liner situation and I love the Stila one, so I'm just gonna stick with that. Plus this is probably very dried out by now. I am also getting rid of <laughs> a holy grail of the mid 2000s. Is it the mid 2000s if it's like 2015, 2016? The Laura Mercier translucent powder, she's gone. I can't, <laughs> I spent so much money on this. This is like $50, like honestly, what was I thinking? 
I don't even like a super powdered look on my face. I use powder very sparingly. And every time I tried to use this and I put a tiny bit on my under eye, it looked horrible. It looked so bad. So I've had it for a long time, have not been using it. So we are going to throw it away. And then I'm also getting rid of these, which makes me really sad, but it's the Cover FX Glitter Drops. Again, I've had these for literal years. I am obsessed with these colors, especially this blue. Like it's so pretty. I put it on my hand and I was like, but I love it. But the good thing is, is that I actually have this product from REM Beauty, Ariana Grande's line, and it is a very similar kind of vibe. It's not as blue as this, obviously, but it kind of has that blue flip of color and it's very glittery and I really like it. So we're gonna get rid of these because I've had them for so long. Even when I put it on my hand, I was like, this texture seems a little... So let me show you my setup as it stands right now. So I've taken this organizer, which I was using just for lip products and have done the following. I have a couple lip products in here, things that I don't need to keep with me in my purse. I now have an obscene amount of lip products in my purse, but it's fine. They're all in my little pouch. It's fine. The little pouch right there, that pink one right there. But I put my Makeup by Mario plumping thing here, the SPF ones, my e.l.f. Uh, lip exfoliator, and then this little cute lip balm, the BT21. Little guy. I put all of my eyebrow and eye pencil products here and my eye drops. So these are two brow gels. I have my eyebrow pencil. And then in here we have an assortment of eye pencils and my one liquid liner that I love. In this one, I put all of my skin products as in my all of my tinted moisturizers because I don't really use foundation. I just use tinted moisturizer and concealer. So I have put my tinted moisturizers in here, my concealer and my glow screen, which I like to use this on days when I just don't feel like doing much with my makeup. This is really pretty on the skin without much other makeup. I think it looks so nice. So that's what we have in this section. And then in this section, I have put all of my eye products as in uh, eyeshadows and eye colors. So I have these little glitter elf eyeshadows, these two REM Beauty eyeshadows, a little mini Pat McGrath eyeshadow quad, a Chanel eyeshadow quad, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Eyes to Mesmerize. Wow. It's just like a little cream eyeshadow from Charlotte Tilbury. The Stila Glitter Eyeshadows. Then I have a Laura Mercier eyeshadow pencil that is super pretty. And then I got this little four pack of e.l.f. eyeshadow sticks that are super pretty. They're like neutral toned, kind of sparkly, really, really pretty. So I put all of that in there. And we are going to move this back to its spot. I have dusted everything, so we're looking fresh. We're looking fine. This is feeling much more cohesive now that I have moved some things over here. This feels so much less cluttered to me. I was able to take a lot of things that were just sitting on the vanity top and put them away and organize them. So our back row here, I have my setting sprays. I love the Morphe one. That is my absolute favorite right now. I also like the Urban Decay one. This Max Fix Plus, I'm gonna give it another shot. It's the Magic Radiance one, and I just feel like it's too glowy. But I'm gonna give it another shot before I declutter it. This is my little face fan. If you saw last week's vlog, you know that I like to set my setting spray with my little fan. It's battery powered and I love it. I have my Beauty Blender. I have a few perfumes here. And then up here I have my bronzing products here. I have two powder products here, these little guys. One is a translucent powder, one is like a light foundation type of powder, but I really like that as well. I have my blushes. So I have my Pixie Glow Stick, which is one of my absolute favorites, Rare Beauty Glossier, this Merit blush in the color Beverly Hills, which is like my new favorite one. I just got this recently and I'm obsessed. And then I have a Kaja Beauty uh, little, I think it's a trio of highlighter, bronzer, and blush. So all those are gonna stay right there. And then to finish this up, I have my mascaras here. So my full size mascaras are here. My little travel size ones or testers are here. My travel size perfume is here, my brushes, and then my perfumes. So I have an absolutely excessive amount of perfumes as you can see. So I was able to move some of the perfumes off of this tray and into here. So this tray is gonna go back on top of that guy. And now I need to figure out how I'm going to organize this portion of my desk because I usually keep my jewelry here, 
I have all of these lotions and stuff and I really need to figure out what I'm going to do. So let's get to work on that. I'm losing daylight, so we might have to stop once I'm done with the top of my vanity. But honestly, I'm feeling great about the progress. She's feeling great. shocked by how much I got rid of. I got rid of this giant bag of things. That feels so good. I am so excited. I'm so glad that it's all gone. And I feel like this is a good first step in decluttering literally every room in this apartment. I did not get to these drawers yet. That's for another day. <laughs> This was enough. I feel good about paring down my makeup collection. I feel really good about paring down my lipstick and lip products collection. That was really excessive. My little pouch of lip products that I keep in my purse is stuffed to the gill, but we will sort that out when the time comes. But it just feels good to only have the makeup products that I actually use and love. So thank you so much for being my support while I declutter my makeup and my vanity. I really appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you would like to come back and see other videos, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell so you get the notifications when I post a new video, which is usually every Tuesday and Saturday. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it as always, and I will see you in the next one.